This video, Matt's slacking, and I'm bringing you a little bit of content to get us through. We got some racks coming in on the weekend. We're going to shoot those too. So hope you guys enjoy this. I'm on my own on this video because Matt Thomas is slacking. Slacking. So we're going to get you some content. We're gonna take a look at some girls and just see how big and fat chunky they are. And then Sunday, we're supposed to get delivery of our hatchling racks. So y'all get to take a look at those. Um, we'll talk about who made them and all that stuff. So stay tuned. The uh, first girl that looks like she's gonna go. And she is just massive. Let's see if we can get her out here for you. We can take a look at that. Let me get the right end. No? Go. Look at that belly. Look at that belly. It's massive. So this is the uh, ivory. This was the. This is Minnie's mom. Uh, so we have the same pairing to her this year that made made Minnie last year. And she's starting to pink up, so we're gonna we're gonna have sheds from her pretty soon. That is a het puzzle. And you see how thick and chunky she is. I'm not pulling her out because she's feisty. But she looks good. Yeah. This girl ain't big and chunky yet. But uh she had some great follicle growth. She looks like she's gonna go pastel GHI to a lab albino. No crazy swelling yet, but this girl is getting there. This is a jigsaw, and uh, she was put to a mahogany albino. So mahogany, Mojave, pinstripe, 100% albinos coming. Yeah. yeah, yeah, those will be good. And uh, this is a great sight. There's a nice big plump. You can see those eggs right there. Woo! This is a top secret project. It's a new gene that I'm working with. Yeah, mama, mama. Hey, back up there. There you go. And uh, so that's a cinnamon spider to the new gene. I'll just leave it, leave it at that. It's not a new gene, but it's my resurrected gene. Uh, so we'll see what happens with that. My goodness, if I didn't know better, that's an ovulation. We're gonna write that down. So this is a uh, Ben Rennick spider that was bred to a pastel leopard yellow belly. This is really hard running this camera by myself. Oh, we like that. Oh boy, do we like that. That's a pastel clown to a pastel red stripe yellow belly. There's some really nice hats coming in. This is gonna be the big girl. We are in the process of upgrading, it, upgrading this tub. Oh, she's massive. Oh, massive. A monstrous 12 eggs last year. Um, and she looks way bigger this year than last year. So I fully expect probably in the neighborhood of 14 eggs. 14 eggs. Now this girl, it's kind of hard to see, but this Enchi Clown, she's got a big whopping 36 centimeter, not centimeter, 36 millimeter follicles. So three, three and a half, 3.6. And she was bred to a, Lavender albino. That was the last time I just did. We just did this last night. 
This is one of the uh, Mini Maker clutches, or possibly a Mini Maker clutch. So we got a pastel leopard yellow belly on the left to an inchy yellow belly on the right. She's Pasek Pied, and so is he. Little super pastel, possible yellow belly head clown. It's that pastel, oh, they love to flip their, their bowls. Pastel Mojave GHI pinstripe. Pastel GHI. Orange Dream Fire. Super Pastel, more than likely Yellow Belly, Hit Clown Giveaway. Well guys, thanks for hanging out for a short bit. I know it's not a big video, we usually do a little bit more, uh, but it was good to show you some of the animals, even though it was kind of rough. It's hard to get them out so you can really see the, the pooch, especially when you're by yourself, because somebody likes to slack. Slack. Man, I'm telling you, it's hard to find good help. Anyway, some look at some of the other stuff too that's going on, the little babies that are left over. Uh, that first clutch should be on should be on the ground in probably less than 30 days at this point, so about three weeks, uh, which is really exciting. Finally get that stuff going. Um, and we have five uh, hatchling racks that are coming Sunday. So I, I won't have the bins yet. I had to order the bins separate because I wanted uh, very particular bins for them. Uh, so those will be in at a later date, but the racks will be here. We're gonna video that. So definitely uh, tune back in probably Sunday night or Monday and check out that video too. Uh, the next show for us is not until June. It's like a long time. So that'll be the mass show. Um, Matt will be doing that. Um, by himself, I will not be there. I will be um, heading to Hawaii to see my son and his family and hang out there for a week and we're getting some ink on this arm. Uh, the appointment's made, uh, so that'll be a lot of fun too. So again, guys, thanks for hanging out with me for a few minutes and we'll see y'all probably in a couple days. Peace. Oh yeah, you gotta see this. I don't know if you can read that. My wife traveled for business and they went to this um, brew pub kind of thing. Rest more of a restaurant, a brew restaurant. They brew their own stuff. But it's a uh, Rocky Mountain Oyster Stout. So yes, you are reading that correct. 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 When they didn't even like, it's like a correct, right? Correct. Anyway, so yeah, a stout made with bull testicles. What? Yeah, hell no. Absolutely not. Never gonna happen. They... Yes, they put them in the beer. Are you drinking? No! 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 No!